What's going on guys, welcome back. So today I got five basic tips that will help connect your PC to your TV and have a better experience or more like a console experience because that's what I built my PC for. Um, I don't plan a gaming monitor or anything like that. I generally use uh, my TV, you know, with a controller as opposed to a keyboard and mouse. But these are five basic, basic tips that anybody probably really knows. But just in case if you're a beginner and you're just wondering, you know, some of the things that help make the experience better on your TV, hopefully these five tips will help you. So the first tip is uh, to scale your UI. If you go under settings, under system, and then display, um, you'll see right here display. And then if you see, there's a slider here. This scales the UI so that text and apps can actually fit better, you know, um, on screen, especially if you have a 4K TV or you sit very far away from the TV, it can actually help benefit see the, uh, you know, the UI elements of the things, but not everything scales. Like, for example, a bonus tip here is in your web browser, you can scale and zoom in there as well because the other scale does not zoom uh, this portion of the UI. So you have to manually scale that yourself. So that's uh, to help you out in the browser so you can see, you know, elements inside the browser as well. The next tip has to do with your mouse. So if you go to settings again, um, under devices, um, and then mouse and touchpad there is an option for additional mouse options now in here if you click on pointers this is the actual size of the um, mouse pointer itself you could change it to black if you like um, or extra large and then this way um, you could easily see it um, at a farther distance than you would if you were to sit at close up on a monitor but basically this will help you um, I you know see where your mouse is because sometimes it's pretty hard to see when you're far away next is to turn off game dvr this causes some slowdown in games so you want to turn that off by going to start settings if you're on the creator update um, it will be up here um, the older one is down at the button down there but in under gaming you'll see record game clips and screenshots you want that off not on uh, game dvr as well you want that off as well and game mode you could leave on because that doesn't really do anything too much but game dvr you want to make sure it's off because you don't want to record any clips while you're playing and that's what causes slowdown um as well so just a good tip uh, to keep the games running in a higher fps but if you do want to record i suggest probably using the geforce experience or other software um it's much easier to use and you could broadcast etc if you're using a nvidia card um it's built in with their geforce experience the next tip is pretty self-explanatory. If you have, uh, you know, Steam, you can play games and click on games, but everything's so teeny in Steam. Um, there is a workaround. You can click on this grid view, which makes it bigger and easier to click play. But you can go even a step farther there by having it look almost like a console. Basically, if you go up here and click on the play uh, big picture mode, it will actually bring uh, Steam to the forefront like a console UI so you have like your library and you can see all your games installed um, you can access the store to purchase games right there etc you go to community and a nice feature though is like when you want to shut it off um, if you're using a controller it actually couldn't suspend your system restart your system or actually turn it off and it'll actually reboot with uh, Steam big picture mode front and center when you start your computer so you can never actually go into the UI of Windows which is pretty cool so the last step is to make sure your TV is in game mode if you have a game mode. I have a Vizio. If you go under the settings, under picture, um, you'll see. You can switch picture mode to gaming. This sometimes activates um, the game mode, but I suggest going in further into your settings and activate go game low latency if you have something like that or game mode. As well as also if you have any reduced judder that makes it that, you know, VHS looking thing I suggest turning that off too while it may make it smoother it does add latency as well as well as any kind of noise reduction block or signal any of those things generally will uh, make you know lag on your computer um, so you don't want that basically you don't want to turn the, the TV into a basic um, monitor instead of a TV 
there's the five basic tips hopefully those help you like they help me uh leave a comment below let me know if the, those were good tips if you want more tips or uh any more of that you know leave a comment below but again like if you like dislike if you didn't but again thank you for watching